There has been an unfamiliar look to the Jackson State Tigers this season. Three games into the year, JSU has not won a game, but was hoping to change that in Saturday's home opener against UAPB. However, the Golden Lions would not make it easy for JSU as running back Kashawn Williams scored the game's first touchdown on this 14-yard run for the early lead. JSU quickly responded when quarterback Brent Lyles called his own number and took it 17 yards for the touchdown, tying the game at 7. After going up 10-7 on a 28-yard Christian Jockman field goal, JSU would shoot itself in the foot. With the ball at their own three-yard line, Tigers quarterback Brent Lyles mistakenly stepped out of the back of the end zone for a safety. It was part of nine straight points for Pine Bluff, which added a one-yard touchdown catch from Brandon Duncan to Robert Sims for a 16-10 Lions lead. Uh, it's hard to win a football game just giving points away, you know. And, uh, and so uh, the difficulty in that is that, uh, you know, we just can't turn the football over. JSU would get back in rhythm and score 17 unanswered points, first on this amazing 60-yard touchdown run from Jordan Johnson, who finished with 130 yards on the night. Then, on a 40-yard pick six from Brandon Maiden, and JSU had opened a 27-16 lead heading into the fourth quarter. JSU's celebration ended there as they would not score another point. The fourth quarter belonged to Pine Bluff as the Lions scored 11 straight that included a 33-yard field goal by Jamie Gallant to send the game into overtime. In the extra session, Earl Patterson drove his team to the one and scored on a one-yard run. Needing the touchdown to extend overtime, JSU could not respond and Pine Bluff pulls off the upset 34-27. You know, I told the team, I said, you know, uh, the real measure of a man is when trials and tribulations come, what a real man does, he got to get up and go back to work tomorrow. And you know what? That's, that's hard to do. And, and, and especially in our situation right now, it's very hard to do. At Memorial Stadium in Jackson, I'm Rob J for JSU-TV.